this is officially the worst labor and delivery vlog ever because when I got here, I was already between an eight and a nine centimeters dilated. So we have the delivery cart in here. The doctor just broke my water. He said, if I feel the need to push, don't even try to push, get him in here as quick as I can because the baby's gonna like slip right out. We can say like honestly how shocked everybody is at how quick you're at eight and a half, nine centimeters and everybody's like, what? Yeah, like, How are you walking around, girl? Are you going to get a wheelchair? No, you walk over. Everybody's like, can I get your autograph? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Four Strong and Growing. My name is Alexa, and I am not pregnant anymore. This video is my labor and delivery vlog for my third baby. It's kind of a crazy one because, you guys, I almost didn't make it to the hospital. I had a feeling that that was going to happen. When I got to the hospital, I was eight and a half centimeters dilated when I got my cervix checked in triage. And then I had my baby one hour later. I was waiting to see if I was even going to be admitted to the hospital. And that just meant that I had to be five centimeters or more dilated. So you can imagine how shocked I was when the nurse told me that I was eight and a half. She said eight to nine centimeters dilated. You guys, what the heck? <laughs> It's about a 25 minute drive to the hospital from my house and the first clip of the vlog is right when we got into the car and started driving. So that is where I will leave you and please enjoy me laughing in the hospital nine centimeters dilated. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna vlog with this thing. It's so close to my face. You have to, we're gonna have to find a way to set it up at the hospital where it's further away from your face. Or use your phone. <laughs> Don't like even it. say that. Yep, I know. I don't like vlogging with a phone. Mm -hmm. I know this is ridiculously close to my face because it's a 28 millimeter lens and my arms really aren't that long, but we're on our way to the hospital right now. It's 9.45 a.m. I can't believe this is happening in the morning. Last two babies came at night, midnight and three in the morning, so I was having contractions during the night. It felt like the middle of the night to me, but I wasn't checking my phone, so I didn't know what time it was. And then I finally got fed up because I kept on getting woken up by these contractions. I'm like, what time is it? Thinking it was gonna be like 2 a.m. and we have to go to the hospital. But it was basically six o'clock. It was 5.58. So then I was like, oh. Stayed in bed for a little bit longer. And then I was like, I should probably start getting stuff done. So I ate some food and I took a shower and I washed my hair, shaved my legs. And these are details that the people need. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> well, people are gonna be holding my legs. I don't want their hands to be bleeding. People on YouTube aren't gonna be holding your legs. No, but I don't need the nurses <laughs> to be bleeding after holding my legs, okay. my stubbly legs. Give them extra grip. The contractions are coming really close together. As you can see, here's another one. But they're not like the worst contractions in the world. And they're really short. They're like 30 seconds. I'm being really bad at timing them. So I was trying to get things done. I was doing my makeup and my hair, you know, the essentials before you give birth. So I couldn't. That was less than five minutes. I know. As well. But it only lasted like, what was that, 10 seconds maybe? Uh, maybe like 30, like I think it was close to maybe 20 or 30. And then I talked through it. So it's not that bad. I don't know. Okay. We'll, we'll see what they say when we get to the hospital. Okay. We're going a little bit early when I'm not in excruciating pain because we didn't pre-register and because I don't want to have a baby at home. Yeah, because the last time you felt like this, you were at seven centimeters, right? Or, no, or five. Six or, yeah, it was a. It, but it was. Well, no, I that was, they admitted you. I wasn't in pain at all. You mean with Copeland or Adalia? With Copeland. I wasn't in pain at all, and I was a five. Okay, so maybe you're there. And with Dolly, I was a six, but I was in pain. So maybe you're in between. Because, yeah, I might be in active labor. I might be a six. Yeah. We'll see. 
my mom is at home with the kids. Adalia was so funny. She was like, wait, you're going to the hospital? She's like shocked that it's finally happening. Even though we've been talking about it for days and days and days. Copa is the typical four-year-old. Look at my octopus. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I have an eel, an octopus, and I don't want to play on the tablet anymore. Here, you can take it, mommy. <laughs> okay. Bye. I had an OB appointment scheduled for tomorrow. I'm 39 and 6 today. So I had my 40 week appointment scheduled for tomorrow. And I was going to do a membrane sweep. Um, but that might not be needed anymore. So I don't know. I guess I'll come back when there's an update. This is on my nose. Hey, we're good. All right, this is officially the worst labor and delivery vlog ever because when I got here, I was already between an eight and a nine centimeters dilated. So we have the delivery cart in here. The doctor just broke my water. He said, if I feel the need to push, don't even try to push, get him in here as quick as I can because the baby's gonna like slip right out. So, <laughs> There wasn't much time to update the vlog. What else happened? They broke my water. I'm assuming I'm like a 10 now. He said there's a little bit of cervix still there. So like maybe like nine and a half. Contraction right now. Ooh, this one really hurts. Doing a good job, honey. Doing a good job. Wow. Good job, honey, good job. Good job, honey. All right, we're coming down now. That one hurt like heck. Yeah, the graph didn't make it look like that though, but I believe you. That makes sense, because you just broke my water. Oh, so there isn't as much pressure in that area? Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, good job, honey. Good job. You're a champ, you got this. gonna go over to the screen here. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanna talk to it later? Well, I think that's all the updates. Probably right? it, yeah. I mean, there's not much like, hey kids, the baby's coming. Baby's the baby's coming. Just like that. Good thing I didn't wait any longer. Oh, we, we can say, like, honestly, how shocked everybody is at how quick you're at eight and a half, nine centimeters, and everybody's like, what? Yeah, like, how are you walking around, girl? I'm you going to get a wheelchair? No, you walk over. Everybody's like, can I get your autograph? <laughs> I'm sure they judge everyone who comes in to be like, all right. How, do you think this Probably. is legit or do you no, think that they get set home? Because that's what she said, that they're like, yeah, maybe, she, maybe yeah, she's maybe. in active labor, maybe not. And then everyone was shocked. Yeah. It was like, surprise. And I'm kind of shocked too. Me too. Although that one was very bad. Yeah. Well. Another one is coming. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Can I help you? I think we need to push. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, ready? Good breath. And push. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good breath, just like that again, right? And push. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Big breath. And one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
I think you just have a ton of amniotic fluid. Because every one of these every one of these pushes, you're like pushing out all the fluid. And so I think once you like run out of that, <laughs> you'd actually be pushing on baby. Because you're pushing so well, and I know you are because that's why all the fluid's coming out. But I think that's why baby's not moving so much right now, because you're just emptying all the fluid. Which makes sense, because you have just this basketball right here. Okay. And push up two. Come on, oh, you got four, five, yes, yeah, six, seven, right there, eight, nine, and ten. Big breath, just like that again. Come on, and one, two, three, four, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dig deep on this one, ready? Come on, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Just hold a little bit of pressure down there. Are you doing great? Do you still feel like contraction? No. Okay. You're you're so close. So close. There we go. Let's hammer. Ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Good job. Deep breath. Deep breath. Put some pain. Big breath. Deep breath. New cold. Oh. 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 Good job, Mama. Good job. Oh. Awesome job. Oh. Oh. That is a sick baby. Oh. 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 She's already looking. Oh, yes. She's amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, right here in the middle. It's kind of gummy. Nice. There you go, Mom. Live. Okay. I don't remember the last thing that I was saying. The baby has been born. I ended up having a really painful contraction after that because my water had been broken. And then I had, I think, just one more contraction after that and I needed to push. So we got everyone in here. We rang our red button. Are you really close to me? No, it's... We got everyone in here and then it was time to push. So. I started pushing and basically just amniotic fluid was coming out and it must have been he a lot. He said almost 400 milliliters. Is that a lot? Uh, that's that's almost half a liter bottle. I don't know if that's more than So it's like a full, people. it's like a full, well, a full soda bottle is like 378. Okay. So it was a lot. So that's a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. And I don't know if that's more than most people or not, but the doctor kept on saying how much it was, so it's probably more than he expected at least for me maybe before the birth but then he started talking a little bit about how getting that out it must be coming around the baby so we've got to be close to being almost done with the amniotic fluid so the baby should be on her way soon right because basically i was just pushing out fluid instead of her he said that her head was like twisting back and forth and she was trying to find her way right out of my pubic bone but like couldn't really find it so i pushed for what like half hour uh Maximum, I would say half hour. And then she finally came out, and it hurt. <laughs> In case anyone, you were so wondering. awesome though. Like every time you pushed, like you, you literally gave everything you had. Did you watch? Mm, no, because when I was holding your leg, the the table was up really high, mm -hmm. and your leg was mostly in the way because like I had to reach over the guardrail in order to keep your leg in the same mm -hmm. position as the nurse because they're so much taller than I am. Mm -hmm. And so it was, the whole bed was up way higher than the last time. Okay. Because the doctor from the last time was about my height, so he was sitting down for delivery versus standing up. What else? Oh, I cut her cord. I've never been given the option to cut the cord before, so that was fun. That's pretty much it. So she was, we still don't know exactly what time she was born. I'm estimating somewhere around 11.30 at 11.40. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yep. She is seven pounds, one ounce, which means I... Got that on the nose. Mm -hmm. And Dahlia was close. It's the 19th, not the 20th. Well, she guessed 21st. She's the closest. But she's still the closest. 
She sneezed at 1217. She sneezed at 1217 for the first time. She's wearing her first hat, her first diaper. And she started feeding around 1225. Yeah. She's got a good latch. Yep. Cute little um, cry. She's 18 and, and a half, half inches long. Inches. Yep. And I think that's everything. Yeah, that's that's everything. She hasn't farted yet. We're waiting for no, that. No poop. Cutie tootie. No Wait for the cutie tootie. We're in baby heaven. So we're mm -hmm. moving out of this room into our recovery room in like 25 minutes. And I'm going to get a slushy and some lunch. And I got to get the rest of our bags. Mm -hmm. So I got something to eat too. Cool beans. See you soon. Yay. Great job, mommy. I said, what time is it? But I, now I see. Okay. It's a little bit after seven. Time for another update. Poop and pee. We've had, yeah, we've had a poop, like the tiniest little poop ever. Not me. I shouldn't say we've had a poop. She's had a poop. Um, guys, I pooped while I was pushing. Don't be embarrassed about it. Okay? It happens sometimes. I felt it come out. It was fine. They cleaned it up. No one said anything except my husband after who said, yeah, because I was like, you know, I pooped when I was pushing. He goes, yeah, I know. I could smell it. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> he said it exactly. There was no shame, though. Like, it wasn't a shame. I was not shaming you. I was just confirming that you were right. But why do you have to say that? I don't know, because how else I'm going to prove? I'll be like, yeah, I looked at her. I smelled it. Like, how else I'm going to prove that it actually happened? You pretend that I'm telling you for the first time. And you go, oh, really, honey? Well, I okay. need to go back to husband 101. So she had a poop. I had a poop pushing her out, and she had a pee. So she also had a bath, and now she's in a cute little outfit. She's swaddled up in the bassinet. I think my mom and the kids are going to come visit tomorrow morning and come meet her. So that will be really exciting. And I was told that I could get discharged tomorrow as well. Baby will get all of her screenings at the 24 hour mark so that's 11 47 a.m tomorrow and then i can probably get discharged sometime after that although they gave me an option to stay for an extra day so i'll see how i feel but right now i feel good she's in her new jammies yeah she's in a little outfit so cute Pretty it's really hard to get it on her she's gonna be my uh purple princess i gotta come up with a nickname like i did for him yeah Oh, and she snores. She has the cutest little snore when she's asleep. <laughs> right now I think she has gas or more poop coming because it was like the tiniest little smudge before. I think there's more coming. She's due to eat again around 9. I get meds at 11, and we'll just see how the night goes. And I got homework. I gotta get the paperwork done before we go. Yeah, we have like a million videos that we have to watch. We have the birth certificate. We have all this paperwork to do. All in all, it was good timing, though. A Sunday. And then this coming week is Thanksgiving week, so Matt and the, the kids, I mean, Odali is the only one in school has Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off as well. So, so yeah, I'll, I have to take two sick days to get a whole week. Yeah, you you take your two days. I'll call Adalia out tomorrow. She'll probably go to school on Tuesday though. Yeah. And then have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. And I can still cook my turkey. I was worried that the turkey would be in the oven and then I'd like go into labor and we'd have to abandon the turkey or something like that. <laughs> oh, they gave us Christmas. Uh, ooh, ooh, hold on. Where are the Christmas blankies? I'm so slow. <laughs> they gave us Christmas Minky Couture blankets. Get it out, baby. Get it you were out. only supposed to get one, but they gave us three. Oh, they're so cute. This one has gingerbread men on it. And we got a reindeer one. And we got a nutcracker one. Oh, also I'm off my IV, which I guess is obvious because I'm like walking around the room. But it's nice to be detached from that thing. I don't like that thing.
So that was the last clip that I filmed in the hospital. I tried to film as much as I could after the baby was born, but it is so hard to film in the hospital. I don't know how anybody does this. I was planning on making like a first 24 hours with a newborn video. Nope, not happening. I don't know how anyone films those videos because there are people constantly coming in and out of your hospital room. Me and baby are both being monitored so often and when we're not being monitored, we're eating or sleeping or trying to sleep. It's just a lot. So I did my best, but I did just want to tell you guys kind of what happened after that last clip. The first night was surprisingly easy. She slept through most of the night. And actually the hardest part was that I had to keep waking her up to feed her. And she just kept on falling asleep while I was trying to breastfeed. She slept through most of her tests that she did and just like kind of let the nurses do whatever they needed to do. Either she was sleeping or she was awake and just kind of looking around. She's luckily a very chill baby. I don't know how I got so lucky three times in a row, but actually the next night was the horrible cluster feeding night. Cluster feeding is what nightmares are made of. Even at like 5 a.m., the phlebotomist comes in, bounding into the hospital room, turns on all the lights, is talking like this volume and coming to take my blood. And she slept through it like nothing. So after that night, and then you saw the clips of like the kids meeting her for the first time, that was so cute. They love her so much already. And Adalia is actually so protective of her. I wasn't expecting for her to be this protective, but she's even questioning me like, mom, are you sure that's what you need to do? Are you sure? I'm like, okay, stop questioning me. I know what I'm doing. You're alive, aren't you? I ended up getting discharged later on that day around like three or 4 p.m. because luckily me and baby were both looking really well. She passed all her tests. They did say that I could stay another night if I wanted to, but since we were both doing so well and we didn't really need any extra help from the nurses, I thought it was just better off that we head home. I also just wanted to be in the comfort of my own home because I had a feeling that that night was going to be the cluster feeding night. If it wasn't the first one, I had a feeling that it was gonna be the second one. So I'd rather be at home during that. With Copeland, he had his cluster feeding night in the hospital and that combined with people coming in and out of your room all the time was a horrible combination. This was still bad being home dealing with cluster feeding, but it wasn't as bad as that. Something to keep in mind if you're wondering if you should stay an extra night or not. And now we're home. So that is the entire birth vlog for baby number three. And I will be formally introducing you to her in the next video and telling you her name. Stay tuned for that. 
turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.